Before we get started on the topic of today's video, I just wanted to say thank you for all the lovely comments in yesterday's video. I realize that you have probably hundreds of thousands of choices when it comes to YouTube. YouTube beauty gurus are everywhere these days. Everybody has a channel and I just wanted you to know that I really appreciate you're taking time out of your busy day every day to watch my videos. Your support means the world to me and I do not take that for granted. So thank you so much. And to the eight people that unsubscribed, <laughs> um, no, I was, I'm just kidding. I don't fault those people for leaving. Um, yeah, let's not rehash yesterday's video all over again. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out yesterday's video. It's called I'm Sorry, and there will be more information there. Okay, so today we are talking beauty news. There is so much going on in the world of beauty and makeup at all times that it's almost impossible to keep up. I have so many notes in front of me and it hasn't really even been that long since I did one of these videos. So I'm going to try to include as much as I can in today's video. And um, if I feel like it's running a bit long, I'm just going to chop it off and I'm not even going to, uh, you know, address everything I have written down here. All right, let's get started. Milani is now being carried on Ulta's website. So if you are somebody that orders from Ulta's website, you may want to include some Milani products in your next order. I recommend the Instant, the Strobe Light Instant Glow Powder is beautiful. I have it in the shade Afterglow. This is what I have on for my highlight today. You can kind of see it right there. Um, if this shade is too light for you, they have other beautiful shades. This is a gorgeous product and I highly recommend it. So Milani is on Ulta's website. I would imagine that they're going to monitor how well they do and maybe bring it to stores at some point. I don't know, but it's on the website. Okay, uh, in case you missed it, when I have mentioned it a couple other times, I have to say it again because I am so excited. ColourPop is going to be sold at Sephora starting November 1st. Still not really sure like how many of their products or which products are going to be sold there or how many stores are going to sell it, but mark your calendars, people. November 1st, you will be able to see ColourPop in person and hopefully they'll have testers out just like they do for everything else at Sephora. I'm excited. I'm really excited because as you know, I don't um, order online anymore. So yeah, really excited about that. Okay, Morphe. There is still no date as to when this is going to happen, but Morphe is coming to Ulta. Still don't know when that is going to be, but at least now we know what it's going to be. The products that are going to be sold at Ulta in store, not just on the website, but in store, there are going to be 13 individual brushes. There is going to be a brush set, the 502 Vegan Brush Set for $39. So there will be six eyeshadow palettes available. The cost of those will be between $12 and $38, and they will include the Jaclyn Hill palette, which will be $38. Also be Ulta exclusives, such as the 9A Always Golden palette, So that's what they're going to be selling at Ulta from Morphe. And when that's going to be, it has not been released yet. So when I do know, I will let you guys know as soon as I know. Okay, so what else have we got here? There's a new 
brand of makeup at Walmart. It's called Found and it's a natural type of makeup that has lots of healthy ingredients in it. I don't know a lot about that but I just wanted to give you a heads up because it's starting to show up in some Walmarts. There are a ton of new products from Wet n Wild coming out. I'm really impressed with their brushes. They're very inexpensive, very good quality, so now they're releasing a line of deluxe brushes. These are going to be fairly expensive, but still cheaper than what you would pay for department store type brushes. So they're going to be pretty, but a little more expensive. Um, they are reformulating their eyeshadow palettes. I know that some of you had told me that you weren't really that happy with some of the newer formulas of eyeshadow palettes that have been released in the recent past. So I guess they were aware that the quality wasn't as good as it used to be. So they've reformulated their eyeshadows and they're going to be releasing, um, I think, a lot of the eyeshadow palettes that they had before with the new formula and there may be some new ones as well. There's a whole bunch of things on the horizon for Wet n Wild. So if you if you shop at places that sell Wet n Wild, I think you will be seeing all those things soon. And let's see. I wanted to let you know about the Sephora Weekly Wow. This is an area on their website that shows you once a week, I believe it's on Thursdays, where they show you some products that they have discounted and the discounts can be up to 50%. What a lot of people don't know about this is it's not just on the website, it's also in stores. So if you want to just use the website as a reference tool and see what the weekly wows are, you can actually purchase them in store. But it's only while supplies last. One example of a weekly wow that is going on right now is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Eyeshadow Palette. Shadows are really beautiful. They have a lot of glitter and fallout, but they are so gorgeous on the eyes. I have a single eyeshadow from that line, and I really like it. And um, so if you wanted to get a whole palette of them, it's marked down to $24.50 right now, which is a huge savings. Speaking of Urban Decay, Urban Decay is launching their holiday collection, and it's, it's really gorgeous. There's an eyeshadow palette that has a mirror in the middle and then it has two columns of eyeshadows one on each side of the mirror so it's not like a lift up the lid type thing it's just gorgeous and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put a link in the description box for a video that you can watch where you can see the whole collection um, they also have a lip palette they have glitter uh, liquid eyeliners and it's just it's a beautiful stunning collection so if you wanted to see all the products you can just click on that link in the description box okay NYX is releasing duo chromatic lip glosses I'm not a lip gloss person but some people are and they're really really pretty and uh, they're releasing those on October 12th so that would be tomorrow if you're watching this video the day that it released and they're releasing those on their website and in NYX stores and I'm not sure when they're going to be in places like Ulta or CVS but um, just wanted to give you a heads up on that. ELF has released a rose gold lip vault and what this is is it's their top 10 selling shades of their matte lip colors and those are so nice. I don't happen to have any right now, but I've had them in the past and the quality is outstanding on these and they the colors are fantastic. And it's $35, but I'm seriously thinking about it. It's calling to me. 
because like I said, I've had those before. They're really nice, but it's going to be in special rose gold packaging in a box. They're really, really pretty. So I'm excited about that. I think that it, I know that's on the website right now, the Elf website, but I'm sure it will be in stores. It's going to be part of their new products launch. If you're not aware, Elf has a ton, I mean a ton of new products. Go to their website if you want to see all the new stuff. All right, what else have we got here? Gigi Hadid, the model. She is a spokesperson for Maybelline. Well, she worked in conjunction with Maybelline and she's launching her own collection through Maybelline. That, I believe, is going to be launching very soon because Maybelline is promoting it on their social media. So I've seen just like little glimpses of pictures here and there. Um, on the on Maybelline social media and I'm pretty excited about this because she I've noticed that products that she promotes for Maybelline are shades and colors that look good on me too her skin is a little bit warmer than mine but not so far off that I can't uh, pull off things that she wears when she does promotions for them makeup revolution if you ever want to see like what's coming from Makeup Revolution in advance, the company that owns that brand is called Tam Beauty, T-A-M Beauty, and their website is tambeauty.com. They're coming out with a new eyeshadow palette called Mint Chocolate Palette. It's beautiful, and it makes me think a lot of Anastasia subculture. So if you didn't buy that because you were apprehensive because of all the controversy surrounding the quality of the eyeshadows, you might want to check out the new mint chocolate eyeshadow palette from Makeup Revolution. They are notorious for taking other people's ideas for products and creating their own at a much lower price point. And the quality of that brand is very good. I have several of the eyeshadow palettes and... They're very good at, you know, a, a big discount in price. I'm sure this will come to Ulta eventually. It isn't out yet, but if you just want to see it and what it looks like and all the other new products that are launching, check out tambeauty.com. That's Makeup Revolution's parent company's website. And last but not least, for those of you that watch me in... European countries or I should just say any country that is not the United States if you have a Primark then you already have seen that Primark within their makeup brand PS has launched single eyeshadows and refillable palettes next time I go to Primark because I am fortunate enough to live in one of the states in the United States that has Primark's stores um, I'm definitely going to be checking these out. If you have tried these eyeshadows, please leave a comment and let me know what you think. I'm really excited about these because the individual eyeshadows, they go into refillable palettes. They're one dollar a piece. So <laughs> I really want to check these out. The colors are gorgeous. I've heard some good buzz but I'd feel a lot better about um, buying them if, if one of you had told me that you had tried them and liked them. I mean, for a dollar, I can't even imagine, you know, it would be a good deal no matter what, but I've heard some good buzz on this, so. All right, so that is beauty news, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye.